I'm Ashley, I'm one of the third year pulmonary and critical care fellows at Emory University. Hey, I'm Danny Harris. I'm one of the second year critical care fellows here at Emory as well. And we're here to talk to you about the tracks that we chose for fellowship. And I think we should touch on a point of why we even chose to come to Emory in the first place. I chose Emory because they provided um, the opportunity to be either on the research track or the clinical track. Clearly I chose the clinical track. Um, and I like this because a lot of programs that I was interviewing at were either um, research only or everyone was obviously required to do research. The irony of that is that I chose the clinical track and yet I'm still doing some research. So you do get opportunities to still do research on the clinical track. Mind you, it won't be as robust as if you had chosen the research track, but there are still opportunities available. One of the reasons that I chose uh, Emory University is because of the diversity of the training experiences, the wide variety of hospitals that we rotate at. We rotate at five uh, hospitals across the city of Atlanta with a wide range of patient population and experiences. And there's ample opportunity with that, within these hospitals and with our faculty to be involved in organizations like the SCCM, American Thoracic Society, uh, American College of Chest Physicians. We have a lot of opportunities as well. And although Ashley and I are in the same department, our fellowship experience is a little bit different. So she is uh, pulmonary and critical care, but uh, with the critical care fellowship uh, alone, uh, we train internal medicine uh, and emergency medicine physicians with a two-year fellowship. But if you have uh, trained and done a fellowship in another subspecialty of internal medicine, uh, that, that would be a one-year uh, fellowship. And so we spend about half of our clinical time uh, in medical intensive care units and about the other half in, in non-medical uh, uh, intensive care units. But we also have a significant amount of time budgeted for scholarly activities, mm -hmm. scholarly pursuits, research projects, and things like that. Mm -hmm. And the idea behind this track is that you are hopefully able to cater your rotations to the type of critical care doctor that you want to be. So for instance, for myself, I did emergency and internal medicine as my residency. And so I would like my track to be more related to med surge or trauma related uh, critical care. And that also brings us into the special opportunity that me and Daniel are getting to do, which is ECMO. So part of our track is involving ECMO cannulation and management so that we can provide this in whatever way that we want. For me in particular, I want to be able to provide this to my medical ICU patients, especially those who are in ARDS without them having to be transferred to a surgical unit. But then I also think that there are benefits of ECMO for trauma patients as well.